How to check if a file exists on Windows-like system with Ansible. I'm going to show you a live demo and some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about Ansible module win underscore stat. The full name is Ansible dot windows dot win underscore stat which means that is part of a collection of modules specialized to interact with windows target host it's a module pretty stable and out for years it works for windows and windows server operating system and it gets information about windows file for Linux target, use the stat module instead. The only mandatory parameter is path, that is the file system full path of the object to check. You could also retrieve the checksum of a file in the most popular hash algorithm, just in case. The module returns a complex object, uh, but the property that is interesting for us in our use case it, uh, is exist. This attribute is true if the object exists on file system. Yay! The best way to deep dive is to jump in a quick demo. I will show you how to check if a file example.txt exists on the desktop of a user on Windows-like system with Ansible Playbook. Welcome to my editor. I will show you one simple Ansible Playbook to check if a file exists on Windows-like system. First of all, let's begin our YAML document with three dash and then a name for a play. In my case, chef, check if a file exists. That is going to execute on hosts all of my inventory. Let me define one variable, my file, and here I'm specifying the absolute path of the file. So is C the standard hard drive and slash users slash vagrant slash desktop slash example.txt this is super easy to customize with whatever file you need actually just change this variable on the task list the first step is to check if a file exists so this is the name of my first task that is going to execute ansible.windows.win underscore stat module. Let me specify the path, this is mandatory, and let me save the result with register under file underscore data variable. So now everything about my file is saved inside this variable. Let me accept this it. The most easy way is to print a message. So let me report file exist using Ansible built-in debug module. Uh, let me display a message. For example, the file, let me substitute the file name. Here we go, exist. And let me print it out only when file data dot stat dot exist is true so this is a boolean only when this condition is true we are going to see this message but what happens if the file doesn't exist let me create a display message too so same as before ansible built-in dot debug let me display the message this time the file let me substitute with uh, the variable and then doesn't exist how to check this condition simply when statement 
and let me add not before checking the condition. So file underscore data dot stat dot exist. Same as before with a not. As you can see in a few lines of code, Ansible is going to check a Windows target if a file exists or not and print it out the relevant message on screen. Are you curious? Let's move it on to my target machine. First of all, let me execute my Ansible playbook against my Windows machine without any example txt file on my desktop user. As you can see, file doesn't exist. What could be the outcome? Let's find out in a terminal session. Welcome to the terminal of the Ansible controller node. Now we execute Ansible playbook with Ansible-playbook command, specifying the inventory with a dash E option. So Ansible playbook dash E inventory, then my Ansible playbook. And then we just hit enter and Ansible is connecting to my Windows target host and perform the check on the example txt file. It's going to be super fast and as expected we see only one message on screen that say that file doesn't exist. Uh, if you double check there is also one skipping task of the message of the file exist. So everything is sort out. What happened if the file exists? Let's find out together. Back on my Windows machine, let me create one example txt file in the desktop of a user. So here we go, new text document, let's rename to example txt just for as let me add also the test message inside the file and let me double check via Windows Explorer in the desktop there is example txt. Now let me execute again my Ansible playbook and see the result. Back on the terminal of my Ansible controller let me execute the latest command and this time the result uh, will be different. I'm expecting the text message in the check file exist and here we are and skip it the file that does not exist. You could understand that this system is so powerful because you can take action based on a file existence or no or maybe you can create. Now you know how to check if a file exists on Windows-like system with Ansible. If this video was useful for you, give me a thumbs up, write me a comment and in general, keep in touch with me. See us on the next adventure of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.